Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. Welcome back to my channel, guys. This is a message today for the Air Signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And I've pulled your read, done your reading, and I've done it a little bit differently today because they were suggesting things to me as I went along and pulled cards. So I just went with the flow and did what they asked me to. So first of all, for this reading, they want you to know, I've called in your spirit guides and your ancestors, um, all your spiritual counselors and mine. First of all, they want you to know to be encouraged that they have your back and a lot of you are picking up the signs and signals um they're saying even if you were finding there are some minor disappointments along the way do not look at these as setbacks things are being rearranged in your favor is what they're saying and um you know they're having to shuffle things around but if um any of you are having any kind of doubts they're, they, they're saying, be rest assured, we're just rearranging things to suit the path that you are headed towards. So guys, that is a message from your, your spiritual counselors, if you're a uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. They're also wanting you, to, wanting you to know that they are right by your side with the compass card coming next, and that they know that the fire has been lit within you. You are headed in the right direction. Don't let the any minor setbacks and you'll see why I say that in just a minute, guys, with the runes. They're saying they do have your back, and they're just having to rearrange, shuffle things around. But it is coming, whatever it is, dream or goal that you've got that you're wanting to work on. Okay, guys? So, um, that's the overall message here, okay? Now, I'm going to tell y'all, when I pulled the runes, and what we have here, first of all, we have the energies coming in, okay, in the runes. And then we have what you do not see coming. And then what you're going to realize as you go into into the near future, okay, um, what you're going to find along the way. And guys, I'll, I'll be honest with you. When I first pulled the runes, I wasn't sure what they were saying. And then they said, divide them into threes. I said, okay. So it's not necessarily a three, 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 three message. But when I put pulled first Rado, and um, <laughs> when I pulled, put Rado and um, uh, Isa and uh, Kina's in here, I heard rest in peace. So they're telling me that something that wasn't working for you or some idea that you had or some kind of unclear um, where you weren't, didn't have, where you were maybe debating between several ideas. They're saying whatever idea that you were debating on that of the ideas of whatever it was you were thinking about doing, okay, that one of the ideas won't work, one of them will work, and rest in peace to the one that doesn't. It's not meant for you. Guys, what's meant for you is never going to pass you by, okay? So they want you to keep that in mind. So this wasn't really so much even a a um, an individual rune thing, but it was a rest in peace, they said, they're saying, okay? Now, I'm going to still break it down for you, though. So Rado is that you are traveling along on your journey. Rather, you're in the chariot by yourself, or you are a group of people that are working on something with your spiritual attainment, and more... Um, your vibrations raising higher. A lot of you, they're saying, are meditating on a regular basis. A lot of you are looking and paying attention to the signs and synchronicities, at least subconsciously, if not consciously. Okay? Which is now creating new openings for the better idea that you had on whatever kind of clarity of mind that you had. And they're saying that that, that is because you are now starting to see the rewards for some of your efforts. Okay, and I've gotten a message really clear that some of you may be starting some kind of a new business, rather it's an online business, um, something on YouTube, something on Rumble, something in the in the actual physical world. Some of you are starting to see some kind of rewards for one of your ideas, and that's definitely leading you in the right direction. You're a spiritual warrior, and you're headed in the right direction. Now, on man is the micro to the macro. They were pointing out the room. Oh. <laughs> But they were also pointing out me, to me, guys, this one was kind of weird. But at the bottom of the rune, if you look, it looks like the top of a house where the two peas meet in there. And they, they, so they were saying if some of you were trying to maybe get a certain building, and I got this message before not too long ago, but some kind of place where you were at wasn't going to work, another place is going to work better. And, and guys, that can be anything. It can be, um, well, they're showing me a schoolhouse. Maybe some of you are becoming teachers and one school wasn't going to work and the next the next one you apply to is going to be the one. Um I'm here. Okay, hang on. Okay, so they're telling me that someone that's in the teaching, uh, that's a teacher of some sort, maybe you were trying to get a job at a regular school, but they're saying your gifts are going to be much better in a school for those that are less fortunate or that have disabilities. 
Guys, that's very specific. Take that how it resonates. So if there's a teacher out there and you were trying to get a job at a regular school and there's, you really wanted to go there, the universe, they're saying that your spirit guides and angels are urging you to where there's a smaller school where there are some students with disabilities that they think will make your skills and your skill set and your intuition blossom right along with your students. So they're showing me, guys are showing me the magic school bus. Um, take that how it resonates. Some of you might work better with children with some certain types of disabilities. And you have something in your degree is smaller or not as big, but they're saying you're going to blossom there. Guys, take that how it resonates. That's where that compass comes in, okay? So then they were telling then they were telling me wholeness, success, so we lose, the sun is shining brighter. And some of you are going to jump through a new portal or complete some kind of beginning. Whatever that's a business, a new bi uh, either a new job, a new business, um, this new school, whatever however that resonates for you. You will go through a portal by completing that beginning, okay? Then we have not, which is normally relief from distress. But they're telling me if you thought you weren't going to grow there, because you see, not as looks like ISA with a line through it. They're saying if you thought you were not going to blossom wherever you were getting ready to go, if you were of two minds of something or of three minds of, a, of some kind of a project or where you wanted to work next or something like that, they're saying you are going to blossom on that I, on the second idea that you think is not going to be as good for you they're saying that what you're going to find there is going to make up to you everything you think that you're going to lack by going in that direction guys they have your back i'm telling you i have been hearing angel heart angel heart and i showed this to the to the earth signs i found this yesterday and look there's a heart in the middle of it and guys if you've been watching my channel for any time they keep telling me angel heart angel heart i'm not sure what that means i think they're just telling me lead with your heart but guys lead with your heart too some of you are going to find some find a gem that you didn't think you were going to find by altering your course about a decision that you had. It's going to bring you a lot of joy. Okay. Then they're showing me also, they're saying the healer and strengthener is also acting as a doorway. You are going to find more happiness in that doorway that going through a different doorway than what you thought you would. Okay. And it may disrupt the plans that you had, but guys are saying, they're saying, trust us, trust in your intuition, trust in your gut that of what we're telling you, trust in in us because we are guiding you and where you need to go. So guys, if some of you are having some doubts about something, this is a message specifically for you. Okay, now what is unseen and what you don't know, um, what you don't see coming. Okay, so what they're telling me here, guys, is something in the old and in the plans that you had in the structure that you were trying to build. Okay, they're they've been they're they've been trying to tell you that. They, okay, see, because Othello, when it's upright, is all about going home. It's all about rebuilding, restructuring ancestors. And guys, we do have the ancestor cards in the native spirit here on the deck. So your ancestors are directing you, and they're, they're saying you can't go home again. I don't know what that exactly means for some of you, but I think what it means is you need to step outside of your comfort zone. That. For you to grow and grow and become stronger, you have got to realize that sometimes letting go of things that aren't working when the new growth comes in, it's going to bring you more wholeness and more success than what you thought it would. Okay. And then we have Algus, which again, this is to me, Algus is a, is a, is a combined room because it's got keenness and it's got ISA, depending on how you look at it. Okay. That way it's opening. This way it's closing. This way it's coming to yourself by listening to the signs and synchronicities. Because whatever path that you were going in, which you don't see coming, you didn't realize that that wasn't going to give you the opportunities that you're looking for. Okay? Once you have this clarity of mind, things start moving very, very fast. See? Because we have lagoons for flow. We have movement. This is your path of destiny. Okay? Now they're saying don't be in too much of a rush because guys, when you turn... When you turn path of destiny, when you turn dog is this way, because dog is this breakthrough of process of self change, they're saying it's an hourglass. So take a little time and realize that they are setting things in place for you to get something that's going to be a lot happier than what you thought it was going to be. And you're going to come through another portal by leaving the, these, these past eyes behind, ideas behind. That's why they're saying rest in peace. So, guys, take it how it resonates. It may mean something differently to you, to you on a personal level. Okay, and guys, sometimes it is hard to let things go. 
you know, but know that by following the signs and synchronicities, they're encouraging you to go the, you know, go where your heart's telling you to go. Okay. By letting go of something old. Okay. So then what you're going to find when you get there, okay, they're saying things are going to keep on moving fast for you. You're going to find a lot of happiness and joy and slowly over time, you're going to realize, oh, okay. All right. So I am on the right path. I am on the right journey. Okay. Because it's not going to be a secret no more. You are going to be listening. You are going to find um, a lot of expansion there. They're showing me a law book. Some of you may also be, it may, it may be a decision between a law school that you want to go to. They're saying something about, they're showing me law books. Guys, take that how it resonates. Um, I heard, I just heard pharmacy. So if somebody's thinking about two different pharmacies, maybe the smaller pharmacy is the one where you're going to find more joy than the big pharmacy that's just going to look at you as another person in the pecking order. Take that how that resonates. And guys, there are saying lots of abundance coming in and in, in, in that you're going to find there by making this slight detour or making this slight different decisions by listening to your signs and synchronicities. Okay? So take that how it resonates, guys. All right? So then along the journey going into this near future, they're showing, they're giving me, first they gave me the heal the ouch card. And you see how this is a doorway? So they're saying, when you go through this, realize that sometimes they do have, realize that they have your back and that sometimes you have to try something new or go a different, little bit different way with the same general idea. Like if you're choosing between two different pharmacy jobs, two different schools, two different, or even three or three different types of jobs you want to do that the one you think is not going to bring you the most happiness. See how the lights in the background guys are pointing out. It's going to bring you more happiness than you think it is. So they're saying, listen to us. Let us, let us guide you go through that doorway. Rest in peace. So that old idea is not where you're needed to go. And guys, 8, 9, 10, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that, this is an 11 card. Guys, that's a power number. Okay? So whatever that was, kiss it goodbye. Write it down on a piece of paper. Set it on fire. Your spirit guys and angels are saying, we have your back. And there's, see, the guys are also saying they love you with the pink. They're saying, look at the pink. Point out the pink. Point out the pink. There's a lot more growth than you think you're going to find. And there's a lot of love. And they're just saying, we see how she's got her hand on his face? They're saying, it's going to be okay. All right, guys. So then the next card we have, again, we have a 44 card, which is a power number. They're saying, see how she's leaping in between worlds? Guys are saying that whatever this is, you're going to find more transformation, more healing, more strength in this new decision. You're going to grow. See how there's a tree on top of the world? They're saying, you're thinking it's, this is rock bottom job. They're saying, no, this is where you're going to grow. And it's they're saying it's you're going to start off Guys are saying you're going to start off like a little twig, but you're just going to sprout in ways that you did not imagine that you could. And you're going to have huge transformation. And they're, and they're pointing out the light. They're saying, take, take a risk, take, take a leap of faith and trust in us. Okay, guys. Take that how it resonates. But guys, that's awesome. I mean, they're actually nudging you. They're saying, they're saying, where is it? They're saying, go the direction we're pointing you in. You're going to find so much more happiness there. And guys, when you come through this opening right here, success opening, you see that spark? Guys, they're saying, this is where you plant the new seeds of the new growth. Okay? Take it how it resonates. But guys, it's going right along with the runes. They're just giving you a visual. They're saying, you're going to suddenly now blossom. Um, they're also saying, some of you may be trying to choose between several different types of I'm hearing Juilliard, which is a music, which is a learn everything place. It's really hard to get into. They're saying wherever you go, you're going to find love there. You're going to find going from humble beginnings to the one ring circus. Guys are saying some of you that make this better decision. I don't like to tell people this, but I've got to give you what they're telling me. They're telling some of you are going to find fame and fortune and going in the place where you think you're not going to have it, where you think it's going to be rock bottom. You are going to blossom and stand out in the crowd. And you're going to bring a lot of happiness to people. 
see how we got these hearts coming down? She's, they're saying you are going to blossom in love and light and fame, fortune, whatever it is that you're looking for. You think you're not going to find it there, but that is where you're going to blossom the most. Guys, that's flipping awesome. They're saying that's where you're going to turn into the butterfly. Guys, if any of you are, take it how it resonates. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not, I'm not going to pick it apart. I pick things apart sometimes. Guys, cleaning house, they're saying some of you are going... Some of you are going to be moving. You need to get rid of all the extra stuff that's weighing you down. Rather, it's mental clutter, physical clutter, and choosing between the right doorway. You may have to, you may, don't be so over anxious to move ahead when deciding between these places because you're going to get a sign of some kind of sign or synchronicity that's going to tell you which door it is to pick. And you're going to, you're not, some of you won't be happy with that new door, but that's where you're going to blossom. So if you're if you're being weighed down by the details between the two decisions, they're saying sleep on it. Either the remote viewer or the your uh, spirit guides are going to come to you either in a dream on the astral level, because they're pointing out that she, that, that this is okay. Because guys, she she has she has brooms for feet. All right. So they're saying that you're going to get a message on the astral plane. That is going to urge you towards where you're going to grow the most. So some of you are going to have to actually have to wait because you're you're not you're going to say, well, I'm still not sure. And in a dream or something you overhear, something you feel in your gut, they're going to come and tell you. For those of you that are more stubborn, they're saying, guys, take that how it resonates. They're saying, quit looking back because of the one ring circus. They're saying. With that growth and that, you are going to be, elephants never forget. They're saying there may also be something or someone in the past that was the reason why you wanted to do this idea or this plan to begin with. For the, and it's not that's not going to resonate for everybody. But for those of you that are, um, did decide to move to a different idea, a different place or something because of someone else, they're saying you made the right decision. So if you decided to let an idea go and go to the, even though you weren't happy about the choice, they're saying that if it was because of another person, you're going to be happier with the new choice, even though it doesn't seem as big and grand to you as the one you wanted to do. Maybe a parent or a friend was going to help you out financially, they're saying, and you, you didn't want to, you, you now can't go that way or somebody that you were with is a, in a partnership that now no longer is around and you have to pick the smaller one. They're saying, guys, don't let that don't let that person stop you from having your dreams. They're saying set a new intention. And again, 22 is a power number, guys. They're saying listen to what they're telling you. Listen to your instincts because owls represent wisdom. They sign on the dotted line of the idea that you get because, guys, that's where the egg's going to break and you're going to have, have all this new stuff come in. Okay? You're going to bloom where the new places that you're planted. And... Once you make up your mind, set the intention with this new place. Say, okay, well, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to work twice as hard. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to shine every day. I'm going to do something extra. I'm going to make sure that I stand out. The guys are saying that's taking the right approach to it. And they're saying, be grateful for that. Okay. Then they're giving me the wide open card. They say, when you do this, you're going to know that now you're doing the right thing. And again, they're showing me elevation. They're showing me you finding what you did not think you would find when you get there. But it is going to bring in, I mean, guys, see all the light and all the new ideas and, and the everything coming in. And the green dress are saying a lot more prosperity, happiness, joy, and transformation with this new idea, whatever that may be. Okay, guys, then they're saying... From making that, whatever this is, this, I'm trying to put it into words of how, okay, you've got the butterfly transformation. You've got all this golden light. You've got all this white light. So they're saying your ancestors, your angels have your back. Maybe some of your spirit guides and guys are saying when you get there, you're not going to, you're going to be amazed at how much you blossom in the near future when you make this other, when you rest in peace, this other idea. Some of you are going to shine so much with, they're also, 
Okay, so they're also telling me some of you that are working in small theater, there's going to be a couple of plays or something that's going to come into play that is going to also propel you towards bigger, brighter things in, in some big or small way, more prosperity, more actually more joy than what you thought you were going to find and a lot more movement. Okay, guys, so that's five different, four different things they've told me about regarding some kind of schooling, some kind of job, some kind of uh, theatrical arts. Okay. Hang on, guys. So they're saying, they're saying we're putting it out this way to you because we're carrying messages from other spirit guides and angels that are kind of busy doing something else. But we want these other people to know, these other Libras, other Aquarians and Geminis. That this message is specifically for them. Okay, guys, that's just that's what they just told me. So, guys, um, that those four things are because those are four different groups of people that those ide that, that energy is going to resonate for. Okay. So then I asked, well, overall energies, when they go into this two, three, four, however long from because you know, guys, these readings have no dates. So whenever you find this message and it resonates, it's talking from the time you see it going into the future. There's no date on this. They're specifying that. Okay. They're also saying some of you that this is going to, this new whatever going to the future is going to ground you in ways you did not know possible, open you up more, and open up your intuition. And they're, guys, they're pointing out, I don't know if y'all can see it. They're pointing out, this is the luminous gate, infinity symbol down here. I know it's got a piece missing, but they're saying some of you are just going to become higher powered or, or more spiritual. Because of what comes in after you get here, after you get there, you're going to be a lot more grounded and more sure of yourself. And you're going to realize that you're never going to doubt the energies again. Guys, take it how it resonates. They're also showing me, they also gave me the nature spirits card with all this light. And that when you make this decision, when you start seeing even at this new place, whatever that is, or new idea, whatever it is, that when you get there and see all the things that come in for you, you're going to go, wow, I thought this wasn't going to be a big deal. It's a big deal, they're saying. They're saying, just trust us one step at a time down this journey. We know you can't see it yet, but it's here waiting for you. Okay? Again, guys, they're also telling this is also a portal, guys. Okay? Where we've got this success going through this new portal. You don't think you're going to find it there, but they're saying... Whatever it is that rests in peace, you're going to find it there. And look at all that light, guys. They're saying we are with you, and you are going to find it there. They're saying trust in us. Guys, I just hit uh, recording number 2222. That's another master number. Somebody looked that up. You also have 22 here. Wow, guys, you cannot make this shit up. And 44, which is a double number. Guys, you cannot make this shit up. Okay, that is part of your message. Now, I'm going to move these out of the way because we have some more messages here for you. And I'm going to tell you what they are. So, when you go into this new thing, what you're going to find there, more grounding, more transformation, more prosperity and joy and happiness. Because you think it's going to be like, a, a, I'm just not going to be happy there. Guys, when you get there, you're going to shine so bright. You're going to stand out amongst the crowd. Okay? They're saying lots of transformation. Lots of prosperity. You think not, but that's what you're going to find that you're not expecting to find. Okay? They're pointing this out, guys, right there. <clears throat> Financial security. Okay? <clears throat> then we have the ancestors card coming in. Guys, they're saying follow where we're telling you to go because we have your back. So there's a couple of you. Aries, uh, um, I'm sorry, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Some of you, your ancestors are guiding you. They're saying we've been waiting for you. And those of you, if you just follow us, you think it's not a big deal, but you're going to shine so bright, you're going to be amazed. Okay, guys, they're just saying we're here. All right. Then the next card we get is the owl medicine. They're saying some of you that decide between some of these schools or some of these. Um, and now they're giving me another message. Hang on, guys. They're saying some of you that just that are trying to get into some kind of health care or healing nursing school or healing or who guys, they just dump loaded on me. Hang on. Whenever they do that, I just really get, I get lightheaded. Hang on. I think too many of them are trying to speak at once. All right, guys, one at a time. One at a time. 
um, some of you, they're saying you're going to see the wisdom of this before you even get to it. It's going to feel intuitively right to you. And some of you, for those of you that are going into any type of healing profession or using your healing abilities, your shaman gifts are going to come in in some way, shape or form or some kind of psychic gift and all the wisdom that comes along with that. Okay, guys, take that how it resonates. Then they gave me prayer feather. And guys, I pulled my feathers out this morning. They're wanting me to do a little short to show you guys how to do prayer feather wishes and dreams. And they, doing prayer feathers can help you to keep on task. Like you can take a couple of feathers, hold one in your hand and make a wish. Tie it to a tree for the wind to blow the wishes. Okay? Because they, they've been wanting me to do that. And guys, I'm going to do this, do a little short video on that today. Okay? They're saying some of you just need to... Um, you can either write them down um, in, on little strips of um, confetti paper or something that, that will dissolve in a rain and tie it to a tree of, to, to help open up any other little wishes and dreams along the way once you get to where you're going. They're saying you'll be more in touch with how to direct your energy because it's going to be something that you learn because of all these other, once you get there, after you make that, get to that thing to wherever you go okay you're going to find there that your prayers have been answered and how to listen to them one step at a time uh, they're saying they're also going to be able to sh they're also going to show you through shaman abilities how to meditate and focus on and see something that you want for yourself in the future guys i'm having trouble with that one but because they're giving me like three messages at one time okay now for the rest of you you are going to find, when you get to this, something in the future, you are going to find yourself on a new vision quest. Because more things that are coming in, to, in for you, through your intuition, through your dreams, your psychic dreams, um, through your meditation visions, some of you are going to find something else that's going to bring in a vision quest for you. Take that how it resonates. Guys, I'm not I'm not familiar. I've never really like studied what vision quest means. But they're just telling me so much more is going to be wide open for you. And it's going to bring in so much more joy and happiness. And you're just going to know. Okay? Some of you might even, you might even if you go to one of these Juilliard schools or something like that, you may meet someone that a new something vision comes in for you. A new idea, a new gift. That's going to open up a lot more doorways. That's going to bring you to the top of where you want to be. Guys, take that how it resonates. All right, so um, guys, that's what I have for you this morning for the air signs. Aries, uh, Libra. I'm a, so I keep saying Aries. I mean Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So guys, this is um, this is a message from your ancestors and your um, your angels and your spirit guides telling you that you know these messages. Guys, you just have to listen. If they're nudging you between two to two or three different decisions, they're encouraging you, encouraging you. Take that how, how how take that how it resonates, guys. All right. Lana Scott Lighthouse. Guys, that's my message for this weekend for um for the air signs. Um guys, be a light in the darkness. Be a hero. Be your hero, be somebody else's hero. Let your light shine. Let that spark come out. You're going to blossom.